Hi there everybody, how's it going today? Hey, today we're going to talk about a couple of different things that are really the same subject. It's going to be about the prices in the Philippines and also a little fun I had today that is related to the prices. So stay tuned, listen to the video ahead, and let's talk about that today. guys you know there's been a lot of uh, I'll say rancor or dissatisfaction among Filipinos and even expats here in the Philippines in the past uh, few months that prices have really been skyrocketing in the Philippines and part of it is related to a negative exchange rate for the Philippines as I think most all of us expats would know our dollars are worth more and more which means the peso is worth less and less. Uh, you know, some people, if you say, well, the dollar was 50 and now it's 54, they, they think, well, the peso is worth more. No, the peso is worth less. You get more pesos for every dollar, so it's not worth as much. But anyway, that's not what this is about. Uh, what I'm talking about today is that because the peso has lost value, and for other reasons as well, prices have been going up pretty dramatically. Uh, and I'm not just talking about imported things either. One of the things that's been in the news a lot is the prices of vegetables in the public markets, and they have really gone up a lot. Uh, for example, the thing I'm going to talk about today is sealy, or, you know, it's little chilies, the little small red chili peppers here in the Philippines. Locally, it's called sealy. And... In recent months, the price has gotten as high as 3,000 pesos per kilogram of sealy, which is way far and above it's ever been, far and above what it's ever been. I've never seen it that high, but it's between two to 3,000. I've seen it as high as three, and I've seen it as low as 2,000 recently for a kilo. But of course, when it comes to, you know, pretty spicy chili peppers, you're not going to usually buy a kilo of them at a time. So it's not like you're going to go spend 3000 But still, the price is quite high. So anyway, what I was saying about having some fun, it, that is very much related because here in the backyard of the house that we live in, uh, we're in Davao City, but we're a little bit on the outskirts of town now. We used to live more or less in the city center. And earlier in 2018, we moved to more of the outskirts, and we really love it out here. In our backyard, we have some sealy plants where we grow our own peppers. They're just, I was going to say they're wild. I think somebody planted the plants at one time or another, but we don't really even do much with them. We never have really even harvested the, the peppers from those plants. But I was outside looking around the yard uh, about a week ago, and I noticed that one of the sealy plants must have had several hundred ripe peppers on it. And I got thinking, I said, you know, those peppers are really expensive these days, and it's just kind of a shame to let them go to waste. And I have never been a big fan of really spicy food, but in the last year or so, I've become more uh, of an enjoyer of that. And I have a number of different kind of foods that I'd like to put pepper on, pepper sauce or... Um, you know, raw peppers or whatever, whatever I have available, usually a sauce. And uh, those of you on here on my lip channel, you may not uh, realize, but I do a lot of fasting. I've done a lot of things for uh, health benefit. And right now I, I've lost about 230 pounds and I fast a lot. Sometimes I'll well, I just finished up fasting for 18 straight days with no food. So when I do eat, I like to have something that I enjoy and get a lot of flavor from. One of the things I like to eat is eggs. 
because it has a perfect balance, more or less, of the uh, nutrients that I want. And I don't eat that often, so I want to get a good kick of uh, nutrients when I do eat. So anyway, I like to put pepper sauce on my eggs. I like a little spice there. And so I had my niece pick all of those chili peppers last week. And there was like a very big bowl full of chili peppers, all red, all right. But I was just trying to think, what am I going to do with them? I, I'll never be able to eat all of those in the raw form before they'll be bad already. So this morning I got thinking, I said, well, I'm going to make like a chili sauce slash chili paste with these peppers. And I looked up on the internet uh, how to make something like that. And it was very easy. I used, for the concoction that I did, I used the chili peppers. Just I sliced the stems off. And then I used uh, coconut oil. But it's a, a refined coconut oil that doesn't have the coconut scent or flavor. And I used a, let's see, I used some onions. I used some salt. And I used some Italian seasoning as well. I mixed all that together and I blended it all up. And I came out with some chili pepper sauce slash paste. It's kind of in between the thickness of a paste and a sauce. I'm going to put a picture up here so you can see what I made. And uh, then I used an immersion, an immersion blender to uh, process it all through and made a sauce out of it. And I'm going to tell you, it's really good. I like it a lot. Now, I just did take a very small taste of it because I'm, I'm in the middle of another fast right now. I'm on my fourth day of fasting and I plan to eat again on my eighth day, at the end of my eighth day, so at the beginning of the ninth day. So a few more days to go and then I'm going to enjoy my chili sauce. But I did take a very small, just kind of a, got my finger wet and licked it and it tasted really good. So I'm looking forward to that. So basically, I took something for free out of my backyard that's worth a lot of money now. Uh, you know, in relative terms, it's not like it's going to break anybody, but uh, it's worth a lot more than it used to be. And that's what made me decide to use it instead of just letting it rot away out there. And I think I'm going to keep on making my chili pepper sauce or paste and put those peppers to good use. So anyway, like I say, I'm going to put a, a picture of that here during the video. I probably You probably already saw it, but uh, anyway, I hope that uh, you enjoyed this and you learned a little bit about how prices are going here and a good use for chili peppers. So anyway, that's my lip cast for today, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm going to be trying to come out with these just about every day. Just short, five minutes or so, and uh, hopefully pass on a little information or at least a little entertainment for everybody. That'll do it for today, everybody. You guys have a great day. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Please also subscribe to my channel. It's the Mindanao Bob channel. That's where I put all of my lip videos, my live in the Philippines. Subscribe, thumbs up. Give me a comment also if there's anything I can do to answer a question or help you out. You guys have a great day. We'll talk later. Are you coming to the Philippines for vacation or even just to live? And you're going to be using a tourist visa waiver? If so, under Philippine law, that means you must have an ongoing ticket out of the Philippines when you enter the country. We can help you get the ongoing ticket that you legally need. Usually, we can find you an ongoing ticket out of the country for less than $30. That's a cheap way to protect yourself upon entry to the Philippines. Just go to throwawayticket.com.